Welcome to Spitfire Mods. This is a short video on our one of our new product lines. It's the Hanton HT490. Uh, this is, uh, as all our systems are, this is a, a slightly modified version of the stock machine. Um, it's going to have uh, an add-on data collection device which is used for monitoring the component temperature and it'll connect to your computer and then graph the profile that you're running. What this does is it allows you to monitor the component. It's connected to the component device so that you can actually see the temperature of the component being worked on. Uh, it also includes a modified or a custom nozzle of 50 millimeters, which is a little bit larger than the normal size, which is capable of doing both Xbox and PS3 or laptops or anything else um, below a PS3 size. Uh, there's also a modified lower control probe, which you can see back there. Uh, it's a rigid copper wire um, wrapped upgraded probe, which allows you to actually monitor. It actually allows the uh, the units. Th th that probe there is used for the by the unit to control the lower heat, and the stock unit is down tight against the the ceramics, which does not give you a very accurate reading. This probe actually gives you a reading that is very close to your actual board temperature. Uh, and while we're speaking of that, this also has a board monitor. Um, this is our in-house unit, so it's showing you a, uh, an external device, but the, the internal one will actually be mounted on the, on the front of the unit. And then it also has a separate meter um, on this unit for measuring the lower hot air stream. If you look underneath the board, you can see there's a probe that butts down into the lower airstream. What this machine is capable of doing is monitoring very closely the upper airflow on the component, uh, a lower airstream, which is a superheated airstream, which um, is used in the profile in a specific way so that you can actually liquefy under the chip very easily. And then it also closely monitors the board temperature on the outer edge of the board. What that allows you to do is take your board as hot as you need to without worried, worrying about any damage. So what we have here overall is a modified unit which allows us to achieve an almost 100% repair rate. And the reason this unit can re achieve that rate versus a stock unit, which is more like an 80 to 90%, is because of the additional um, modifications and probes that have been added to the system. When used according to our rework profile that you would get along with the unit, uh, you would be able to achieve almost 100% success. And the, the way you achieve 100% success is by bringing the lower part of the board up to an extremely high heat so that your upper uh, unit does not have to burst to so much heat on the chip. And what this does is it allows you to re relieve the stress on the component. The thermal stress is much less on the component so that your component is only actually getting right about the, uh, the liquefaction temperature uh, during the reflow. And that allows you to actually reflow the component with very little stress to the, both the board and the uh, component. And then almost on this machine and also our, H, our Scottle HR360, the modified HR360, both of these units are, are somewhat designed the same. This unit is in the $1,500 range. The HR360 is in the two to $3,000 range, depending on the modifications you get. Um, the difference being mostly in the interface. This interface is not going to be as easy to use. It's a little bit more involved in programming, but once it's programmed correctly, it actually is just as effective as a, a 360, except you don't get all the extra bells and whistles and the digital graphing which the uh, 360 has. But this unit, um, design-wise, has the lower IR heat, the lower um, air jet for below the component, and then the upper air jet for above the component. Both machines are truly uh, designed for unleaded solder. By having a lower and upper air jet, you're allowing yourself to isolate the component because of the extreme temperatures required with unleaded solder. And what that allows you to do is take a board that, um, that would actually be subjected to a very extreme temperature and eliminate that temperature from affecting the board so much and bringing it just on the component itself, which is what you're actually targeting. And within uh, just millimeters of the component, then you're, you have no thermal stress on the board whatsoever during reflow because of the way it's designed. 
and that is a is a machine that now can can achieve even above a a, a 98% and bring you almost to 100% success rate. So this is the HR 490. It's a 110 volt unit, so there's no need for a converter, which is nice as well. You can plug it right into the wall. Uh, the control panel is pretty easy to operate. You're just going to move or move between your different fields, change your values. You have a start, a stop button, and then you have a light button to turn your your auxiliary light on and off. And that are all, that is a total of all the controls. The fan, the cool down fan, is automatically tied into the system so that when your profile finishes, it will cool down the board. And um, overall, it's a, a very easy system to use. You're pushing the button to start and then pushing the button to stop or, or if the profile's set for your specific board, you can just let the unit stop automatically and at the end the unit will actually cool the board down for you. So you're putting a cold board on and taking a cold board off. Uh, it's a very ideal machine to use, especially when you're dealing with unleaded. It's very difficult to get a machine that is so automated and does all the steps for you. So thank you for watching and uh, again this is Spitfire Mods. Uh, Welcome to uh, to our YouTube channel.